Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. So we got one race in the books. Now it's time for race number two of the season. But before we get to that, one of the things we had talked about at the end of our previous video is whether or not we had enough money in our $3,700 to make another upgrade to our car. So we've got a plus seven on the engine. We've got plus 10 on the tires. But what about the chassis and the suspension? We need to see if we've got enough money to make an upgrade there. And of course, we also know that with our engine being only in fair condition, we need to see uh, what it's going to cost us to make repairs and get it back to the plus nine that we want. And to do that, in order to do that, we need to head over to the garage screen. And you can see a column labeled repair cost. And under that column, we see $485 for the engine, $66, $71, and then $49 for the other parts of the car. So very cheap on these other parts compared to the engine. So $485 is what we need to gain a plus two on the engine and get it back to that nine out of nine instead of the seven out of nine that it is now. But what I really want to do right now is let's see what $3,700 will get us as far as either the suspension or a chassis upgrade. So let's go ahead and start with the chassis because sort of what I'm thinking right now is our tires are pretty good. They're at plus 10 and we know there's much higher than that that we can get. But for right now, plus 10 is pretty good. If we can get both the chassis and the suspension up to somewhere around 10, then I want to turn our attention back to the engine and try to get busy upgrading that even more. So I'm trying to drag the entire car along at least a little bit uh, until we can really focus on the engine because I think the engine is ultimately where the biggest performance jumps are going to be found. So let's come in right now under the chassis. I'm going to select buy a new part and let's just see what we've got. So I like I like seven down here, but of course that's too expensive. We can't do that, which leaves us with $2,890 for an upgraded nine level suspension. That is very nice. Uh, again, the durability, not very good. However, this is a cheaper uh, product, so it really shouldn't cost us that much on a regular basis to keep this thing going uh, at good durability. So $2,890 will get us to nine. I like that, but really quickly, let's come down to this level and see. Okay, so nine here is $2,295. So the reason why I'm thinking right now we need to go with the chassis is if you look on the right hand side of the screen, uh, it tells us that the chassis is the main structure of the car. It is the construction and material impact, the weight, aerodynamics, and speed of the car. Now there's some ambiguity there because first of all, speed really doesn't mean anything in this context uh, because speed is derived from the other values such as aerodynamics, weight, horsepower, you know, and so on. So saying speed really doesn't mean anything in and of itself. So, but what I really do like about the upgraded chassis is the weight. So we get less weight, which should give us more grip and ultimately more speed. So I want to start there and then we'll come down next uh, to the suspension, which is responsible for the control and the handling of the car. So possibly a better ride quality, uh, fewer bumps that we'll have to worry about hitting with the same settings in the garage, that kind of thing. Uh, but I think the biggest bang for our buck right now is going to be to upgrade our chassis. So let's come back in and I'm going to select, let's just pop over to uh, the two star and you can see here 8600 is the cheapest and that'll get us up to a 12. But for right now, I think $2,890 is a very good amount of money. So let's go ahead and purchase that and equip it. Now we're up to plus 28 overall on performance. So we are coming along quite nicely. Okay, now that we've got this new part, we need to get rid of our existing part. And in order to do that, we're going to press X to sell. It'll get us $355. So not a huge amount. All right, but I think we're in good shape there. All right, so we need $485 to repair the engine. We've got $1,100, so we're perfectly fine there. We'll go ahead and repair this part by pressing X. Yes, we'll spend the $485, and there we go. 
We've got our car in excellent condition on all four of the parts. Now we'll come back to the overview screen. Uh, Woodley is up next, and if you're not familiar with this track, I have posted some gameplay here on the channel of Woodley. It was not in career mode, it was in uh, the quick race format, but it should be wild. I would imagine we're going to get a return to the full contact uh, demolition derby style of racing that we saw initially in our showcase round. So should be interesting. Let's get to it. Practice and qualifying are now in the books. And as you can see on the screen, our goal time was 12.36, came in at an 11.93. So easily met our goal in practice qualifying, 11.88, which was good for, I believe, 27th on the grid. So not quite as good as we did uh, in the last race, but uh, I think we're going to be okay. It should be a bit of a struggle to get to the A main, but our goal, as always, is top five in the heat race. That will jump us immediately into the A main. And then if we can't do that, we need top five in the B main so that we can get to the A main. So that's our goal moving forward. Let's get to track. Heat number three, the top two move on to the qualify dash. All right, we're not worried about the qualifying dash right now. That it will be something we'll be concerned with later on. Right now, top five is what we want. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see what kind of racing we get. I'm expecting something closer to what we had in the showcase, as I mentioned earlier. But I'm sure hoping against hope that that is not right. All right, so there's no reason to lift here at this track. But I am dragging the brake a little bit uh, since they're pinching me down. Really low on the bottom, and I'm trying my best to stay off of them. All right, now we've got a little bit of clean track. We can try to run some at least halfway decent laps anyway. All right, yeah, we're losing steam here. Last lap. And we are in seventh position, and we are definitely not catching the guys in front of us. So we're going to need... We're going to need more of everything. More power, more grip, more everything. All right, so seventh position there. That takes us on to the B main, where we got our work cutting out, cut out for us. We'll be starting seventh there and looking Welcome for a top to five. Main, the top five finishers all advance to the A main. Good luck out there. All right, you heard the man, top five. We're going to be starting seventh, and let's get to it. We might need some, uh, some guys in front of us to have some issues if we're going to have a chance at this thing. We might need them to do like they did in the showcase and uh, make way for us. Oh, we got somebody underneath us. Uh, in fact, it looks like we got a couple people. Oh, look out! Slid right up into us. Only five more laps. Oh, just cannot make it stick on that bottom. I can get there, but we just don't have the speed to complete the pass. We're losing Losing too much speed, scrubbing in the corner. This race has been a great one. Let's see what we've got the oh, look out. Thought we were going to have some serious contact right there. And we don't want any more contact. Contact costs us money. And it is in short supply. And speaking of contact, there we go again. Oh, okay, there's more contact. <laughs> contact is everywhere right now in this B main. But we're still sitting in 10th, so that's not what we need. I'm trying to give these guys some room at the bottom, at least a little bit. Because if they're running right at the bottom, then yeah, there he is. So 11th position. Uh, definitely not what we were looking for there, and that is not going to get us into the A main. So let's go ahead and hit continue. So our event at Woodley will end with the B main. Our 11th place in the B main means that overall we're going to finish 31st for the weekend. Season standing sitting at 25th position. We'll go ahead and continue on to the next screen and find out what our race earnings are. So $929 is our portion of the race purse, $910 from our sponsor, and then $3 from our merchandise. A total of $1,842. Uh, not quite as good as we were hoping for, but that's $1,800 closer to our next upgrade. So that's going to do it for today. Uh, unfortunately, not the results we were looking for, but we're going to stick with it. 
we're going to keep hammering away until we can move our way closer to the front of this field. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more. It's Tony Stewart, Sprint Car Racing.